How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be debuting the brand new legend 99 overall Larry Walker the signature series version and we're going to go ahead and show his attributes really quickly and this card is honestly unbelievable 122 contact against right 110 power to go along with it he has 117 and 93 against lefties with 96 vision once you are able to prestige this card it will be even better. I mean, he'll have diamond defense at any position in the outfield, 81 speed, and even better hitting attributes. So let's go ahead and hop right into ranked seasons. I have been mainly playing uh, on All-Star in the Moonshot event recently. I have also been grinding out the different showdowns. I've been uh, doing a lot of stage three preparation, and I have not really hopped into ranked seasons in about a week or so. So um, I know that my timing is gonna be a little bit off, and in the first at bat with Larry Walker, we pop that one up, a cutter up and inside, and same type of thing here, a slurve inside with Mickey Mantle. I need to crush that pitch. I need to swing way earlier. I need to uh, not swing right over the middle of the plate, but it's just those things that it helps when you kind of warm up. I was so excited to try out uh, Larry Walker that I just wanted to hop right into ranked seasons. I figured why the heck not. The previous game, I tried to debut him. I actually disconnected in the first inning with the opponent but I ended up getting the win somehow. So uh, this opponent is bunning with Jacoby Ellsbury. He has the prestige version. And then he's trying to steal second. We throw him out with Biggio behind the plate. Here is an interesting play. Diamond fielding with Larry Walker out there. I thought the ball was hit right to him. And I moved down with the left stick. So I got a bad reaction. That's the one thing about that card is his reaction is below 85. And 85 is the threshold to get uh, better reactions, it seems like. I think that's the the uh, threshold for the quick reflexes quirk and even though that isn't an active quirk it still helps out in terms of reaction even if you go in the wrong direction when the balls hit so that last play larry walker makes up for it he throws him out at the plate absolute cannon and so far throughout this game we don't even have a base hit yet so that's what we need to get a base knock and there it is right up the middle a seeing eye single i'll take it i mean i've been having a tougher time against Corey kluber throughout this early portion of this game and the last few times i faced Corey kluber i was able to hit him pretty well so i'm looking to take some pitches trying to get the pitch count up he's only at 33 pitches with two down in the top of the third inning so I need to square the ball up consistently, at least a little bit better. There, I ripped one just early, sinker up in the zone. We still get on top of it, and Cody Bellinger makes the play. This guy had Eric Thames in the game, and he brought in Bellinger as a replacement pretty early in this one. But so far in this Larry Walker debut, we're 0 for 1. He has made an error already. Well, I guess it counted as a base hit, but that was entirely my fault. And then we threw out a runner at the plate. So the opponent gets a seeing eye single or an infield base hit off of Zach Granke and then hits the very next pitch out for a home run. I thought for sure he was going to be stealing right there. It's just unfortunate. But here we are in our second at bat with Larry Walker, and he is sending that one out on a perfect, perfect fly ball home run to the opposite field. That is exactly what I'm looking for. This opponent replayed his home run when he hit one, and I'll figure I'll replay this one just because it's Larry Walker's debut, as well as uh, might as well just watch it, see how far it went, see if it was a no-doubter. I couldn't really tell, and uh, that was a solid swing. Definitely worth it for that card. I purchased him off the market for this video, and I plan on selling him again and then picking him up once his price drops. So that is how I was able to get the card for the debut video. I'm sitting at about 130 program stars or so. So I'm still quite a ways away. I know that those cards drop significantly in price already. But I want you to take a look at how many pitches I missed that are right over the middle of the plate in this game. And we're not even halfway, well I guess we're halfway through right now. But I've easily missed five or six pitches down the middle and he's going to continue to throw some i know that so i have to try and square them up i just keep missing them barely with the pci not the worst timing in the world but the pci placement was not there with the swing timing in this game so far only a two to one ball game we're pitching okay but uh, just every time i seem to square the ball up i'm getting on top of it or i'm popping it up and uh just the timing was not there consistently so with that being said, we don't have, you know, much action on offense in this game. We do have, you know, a couple base hits here and there. We do get a perfect, perfect up the middle with Mickey Mantle. So far, one for three with Larry Walker. I feel like I could be three for three with him. Uh, I just got, you know, 
a little bit aggressive and that last one I, I grounded out on a sinker that was right down the middle I just have to get the right launch angle when I'm up at the plate so here we do have a chance to tie up this game you know one down in the inning top of the seventh with Reggie Jackson up he goes with Hal Newhauser throws a hanging sweeping curve literally right down the middle and I rolled it over for a double play ball I think Reggie would have beat that out but he throws it away so we do score the game time run next inning he smashes one into the gap that's looking like it could be a triple Mickey Mantle's trying to get that ball in I think when he has diamond fielding he tends to get the ball in a little bit quicker but that one is quick enough to throw the runner out at third base the relay from Pablo Sanchez worked out well here we have a one two count when in Larry Walker's fourth at bat and he threw me a slider. I was trying to get under that. It was a great pitch facing uh, the best lefty in the entire game, Araldis Chapman, the 97 overall. And we didn't really get anything going for the remaining portion of this game. I did have a couple opportunities to take the lead in the 8th, to take the lead in the ninth, to even win it in the 10th and extra innings there. But the opponent walked it off. He was able to pitch out of a couple jams. And I just was inconsistent with the PCI. So let's go ahead and get into another game. Let's see if we can do a little bit better with Larry Walker. But I'll take that debut. Honestly, one for four with the home run. I had a good uh, squared up ground out to the second baseman as well. Could have easily been a base hit. And then uh, a little too aggressive here. I mean, just chasing sliders low and away, facing a lefty. That's where I got messed up with Chapman. And then, of course, in this first at-bat with him, same type of thing. Just ground out to the pitcher, swung a little bit late there with Chipper Jones. And I just need to get the barrel of the bat out in front like this guy did right here. I mean, I threw this cutter inside off the plate, and he's able to turn on it, keep it fair, and pull it for a base hit. I need to be able to uh, react a little bit better to some of these pitches. Larry Walker in his second at-bat. Lining out to left field. This play was almost uh, botched out there in left field, but definitely a better swing. A good, good, you know, maybe a, a slightly late on that last one, but a decent swing and just trying to, uh, you know, get a base hit. Just get something going here. We're in the fourth inning. We give up the lead, one nothing, and now I need to figure it out at the plate, man. I, I've been slumping in this gameplay, and sometimes that's going to happen. I mean, sometimes when I take a break from the game, I do a little bit better. And sometimes when I'm playing a lot, I start to go into a slump. So it's just random, and I just need to be a little bit more consistent in this game. So we're down a run. It's the bottom of the fourth. A couple base hits in a row. I'm first pitch swinging with Biggio, and Jackie Robinson barely missed that ball on third base. Then Joe Adele misses that ball in left field. So we're going to take the lead here and get to third base with Craig Biggio. That goes down as a triple. I'm trying to prestige that card. That's why I've been playing the Moonshot event so much. But here we have Pablo Sanchez. After I popped up with Jackie Robinson, I got out with my pitcher. Pablo Sanchez with the brand new swing, with Nolan Gorman swing actually, hits a, uh, a double, a ground rule double, line out with a late swing from Larry Walker there to end the inning. But that card is definitely really good. I, I know because I'm not really making that good of swings. I didn't really feel comfortable at the plate, and I'm still doing all right with him in this gameplay so far but we give up a late base hit to nick madrigal that was inside off the hands hits it with like one hand and somehow bloops it up the middle it cost me two runs as nolan gorman ties the game up on a slurve that was right over the middle of the plate and uh reggie jackson gets the lead right back so we get that run right back after giving up two we get one so that's good it's the bottom of the six we really need to tack on a couple more just because of the way i've been hitting so far in this uh in this gameplay uh, right there we get a late base hit we get something to go in our favor i'm always looking to take the extra base but we had to take a hard turn and get back to first carlos gonzalez is playing center field and he got that ball in pretty quickly here the opponent kind of set me up pretty good he threw a fastball up in the zone he threw a 12-6 curveball low in the zone got me to check swing i figured a fastball was coming and Cody Bellinger smacks that one out for a home run. Then later on, we get a perfect, perfect line drive base hit from Pablo Sanchez. That is, uh, once again, Nolan Gorman's swing. I'm definitely going to switch it back to Mondesi, though. Just wanted to try it out. Wanted to mix it up a little bit. But here we are, uh, 0 for 3 with Larry Walker in this game so far. Bottom of the 6th, and I felt like that was a great pitch to hit. I felt like I got it, went the other way with it, just dropped the PCI. A little bit. I feel like if I square that up, that's a two-run shot, and we increase the lead. 
But here, Larry Walker is making a, a difference on defense here. I mean, gets the ball in pretty quickly. Now we got Jackie Robinson in a pickle. I know he's going to try and send that runner home. And because we have Larry Walker in right field, we are able to get an out on that last play. That's big. I mean, it, with Reggie Jackson in right, Jackie Robinson definitely gets to second base. That kind of changes the game a little bit. We hit a home run with Chipper Jones, and that's pretty solid. That is a nice swing, a nice... Uh, not a no doubter, but a pretty solid swing from Chipper. When I'm not really hitting that well and I'm able to hit that low and inside fastball and then react to the off speed pitch low and away, then I start to feel like I'm coming out of the slump or at least this two game slump that I'm in. So Larry Walker does get a base knock in his second game. And I think his batting average is like two for 10. I think he's 200 batting average with the home run and a double. So I don't think he's bad. I think I could have done a little bit better with him if I were to uh, knock it on top of the ball and knock it under it on those two pitches that I felt were pretty good to hit, the one I grounded out to second base and then the one that I popped up to left field in this game. I felt like they were pretty decent swings, just uh, didn't have a perfect swing by any means, but that card's going to be amazing. I'm going to be using that card for the rest of the game cycle because he is a new legend, but I mean, going up against some of these guys with contact and speed, you always got to look out for the bunt and then he smashes one to left field, and that should be the final out of this ball game. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching the brand new legend, Larry Walker, debut in ranked seasons. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Peace out.